Right, it's a nice day, a nice warm day, and I rode actually, well not rode, Amazon sent me a new microphone to, to um, you know, replace the one that I got that was broken to start. So, to test it and to celebrate, I'm going to do loads of cold stuff. It's not that it will be particularly cold stuff, it's about 20 degrees. But there's loads of things I haven't started for a long time that need to be started, so let's go and start them up, shall we? We'll start by this, it's, I started it about a week ago. Um, but uh, we'll get this one started. Another reason why I'm taking the opportunity to do it today is because the old man next door, he's gone on holiday, I think, because he's, he ain't been there for a couple of days, so uh, I can start everything up without getting complained. Because he always shouts over the fence, blah, 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 because he's old, and I think he's just miserable. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if this is going to work, shall we? It's, uh, I put that new battery on it, didn't I? That's a nice new battery we got there, and... Um, Hasn't gone dead as yet, so let's turn the old key on. Have we got any power? We should have. This should start all right. This should do. I'm not going to use a choke. We know. Get your bloody focus on it. Look, what's it going on? There we go. I'm not going to use any choke, and we're just going to keep cranking until it fires because I like doing that. Maybe I won't. I don't want to have to charge this battery up. Choke on it is then. Let's go. Come on. What's the, what is up with this camera? Bloody hell. got these car tyres up for sale they cost me about £86 each but I got four of them up for 40 quid right to get rid of them someone was messaging me and if you are was messaging me for a while saying asking me questions and then he said can I come and have a look at them this afternoon so I said yes yeah, send me the, send me an offer you know I was expecting the offer of 40 quid um, and I was telling me address because you can only chat in private once you've accepted an offer on this on spot so he bloody sent me 30 quid. And I was like, what's going on here then? So I said, um, sorry, I thought you were happy with 40. You can't go lower than 40, I'm afraid. And, and he ain't he ain't said anything back. Some people are bloody stupid. Why would you ask questions about something, ask to come and have a look and pick it up, and then send an offer of 30 quid? Idiot. Fair enough, if it sent 30, I sent back 40 and, he'd ex and he accepted 40, but he didn't. He didn't send anything back. So... I'd rather just keep them and have them laying around in the garden than bloody, uh, you know, get 30 quid for them. So we've got this Honda um, EX, what is it, EX800. I can't remember the last time when I last uh, started this one up. It must be, I think it was winter, it was bloody cold. And the beginning of the winter, so it must have been at least six months ago, five or six months ago the last time I started this up, so... Let's see what happens. I know it's going to make a hissing sound when I turn the petrol on. I didn't. I wonder if it's got anything in it. It might be empty. Oh well, let's have a look. Recently, just done a review actually on this uh, on this triple charger that I bought to try and keep the focus battery nice and charged. 
Put them in focus on it. What's happened here then? Yeah, I, re I recently I got this on Amazon and uh, it's bloody good. I tell you, it's it's a lot better quality than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be quite cheap and horrible. <laughs> it's only a few quid, um, but it appears to be doing the job. It's only um, a 0.5 amp, 12 volt trickle charger, you know. Um, but it does do bulk charging. Um, you know, it bulk charges and then when it gets 80%, it will just maintain it. So. It's a, it is a, it's actually a very good thing. I definitely recommend getting it if you know if you want a cheap trickle charger. It seems to be doing the job very well. The wire is nice. The plug itself is nice. You know the little clips of clip finger jigs are, are nice. So there's not really any complaints about it. I've done a whole review video, which will be going live um, in a week or so, or maybe a few days. I don't know yet. Um, I might release it earlier than planned. Who knows? But it's a whole review video dedicated to this, so if you want to watch that, then uh, you know, subscribe and stay tuned because uh, it's definitely a good old thing. I also did a review on this. This is uh, it's bloody good actually. The Ryobi uh, pump pumping out beds and beds and tires and things. I've done a, a whole review video on this because I needed I needed a portable pump because I got the only ones I've got are the ones that you have to plug into the cigarette lighter. You know, obviously I've got a compressor and all that, but if you're out and about, or if you need to go away from the compressor, it's handy to have a portable pump. And this is bloody good. You plug your battery in it, and it'll keep all your, you know, it's, it's, it's got a little readout. Um, you know, you can KPA bar, PSI, you can set it up to 150 PSI, and it do all this kind of stuff. If you want to see, you know, the actual details of it, then uh, I've got a, an actual proper dedicated review video that will be going live in a, a few days, so uh, maybe a week. So if you want to see that, then please subscribe and uh, stay tuned to that because that will be coming up and I definitely recommend it. It's a good pump. I'm gonna have to have a look at this one because this one, um, the last video I did on it, it would run, but only if you keep squirting in a bit of um, brake cleaner in the, into the uh, carb. It wouldn't run of its own accord because there's obviously a blockage in there somewhere in one of the jets or something. But that's a good generator, that one. I use that one when I go camping. It's a good old generator, but I'm not gonna try and start it because I know that it won't. Plus, somewhere, I've lost the air filter. Uh, on the little black cover that goes on there, so I'm going to have to have a search around to try and find out what I've done with that. I don't know where that's gone, to tell you the truth. And this one, this needs, um, a, what do you call it, a uh, coil pack thingy, because it, won't, it ain't got no spark. And I know the spark plug is good, so I'm going to have to try and find something to uh, you know, try and match it up. I looked everywhere for parts online, on the internet for that, and I can't find parts for it anywhere, so I'm obviously going to have to try and match it up with a different part. I might even start doing that, actually. That would be an interesting little thing to be doing. I might even start doing that relatively soon. 